Thanks, Doug. Forget the pencils and notebooks. Today it's all about the laptops, the iPads, the iPods, and some elementary schools even. And what's good for them might be good for you. Uh, two teachers are joining us this morning from Chapel Elementary, Leah Jakes and Marie Sove. Good morning good to morning. you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's talk about how you use technology in the classroom because it's an everyday thing, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> um, at Chapel School, we, um, we have a one-to-one -one laptop program, so any all the kids second grade through fifth grade have their own laptops. So every day the kids are on the laptops. We have a lot of classroom blogs the kids use as a reference point to start at. And then most of their productivity, such as PowerPoints, Word, Excel, they do all online. It's and then we switch to the iPads as we find different apps that apply to what we're doing in our IB candidate units. Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, Lee, let, let's start with you in kindergarten class. Okay. How are the kindergartners using it specifically? Okay, well in kindergarten, mm -hmm. um, sometimes we'll run technology centers because being an IB candidate school, we really want to have the children differentiate their own learning um, to take control of what they need to learn um, and at what levels they need to learn. Um, so we really try to push the iPods and the iPads is it like recess for them? Um, <laughs> you can hear a pin drop sometimes. Oh, really? When they have their headphones on and they're engaged in learning and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and and it's, it looks like it's fun and games, but they're learning at the same time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the iPods, iPads also easy for you to get access to for your yes, class? Yes, absolutely. Um, we have a checkout system. We have a class set. Um, for the whole school, but usually we are pretty good about checking them out and there's usually enough available. Mm -hmm. And Marie, then moving up to the fifth graders, yes. it's not so cute and there's birds and penguins <laughs> in kindergarten. <laughs> what, how, how does it look for you in fifth grade? What's a little bit different for us is that um, for me, it's having, them at the, having all this knowledge and information at our fingertips. And you know, you and I talked about how we used to have an encyclopedia we'd go to. We don't use that. I can have them jump from a world book online site to, okay, now look at this app and look at what it from a different viewpoint and now let's go to this the Smithsonian and look at it from this one. So when you're looking for things globally, you have everything right there at your fingertips. It's just amazing. And this one, this is so <laughs> cool. This is, what's the app? This one that it's we're It's called at? STARS and we use this during our universe unit where we learned about how the Earth is part of a vast and complex universe and we were looking at different how constellations change on yeah. different patterns of the world. Yeah, go out at night and you take your iPad <laughs> with you and you can see the constellations. So that one is called STARS. Correct. Now we're going to go back into the kindergarten class, mm -hmm. Leah, and, and some of your favorite apps are really about learning your numbers, learning mm -hmm. your letters, learning to start to read. And the first one that you're going to see is I Write Words. What mm -hmm. do they learn from that one? Okay, with the I Write Words, um, they are learning how to form their letters and their numbers. Um, and if you get the letters right, um, it'll show you and it'll, <laughs> it always does cute little sounds to let you know you did it right. Um, and even if you do it wrong, it'll just kind of squeak at you, and then the kids know, try again. <laughs> My favorite one is the next one that we're going to see. It's called Word Magic, and mm -hmm. if you get it right, it says, you're awesome. <laughs> exactly. The kids love that, that, to know that they're doing something right. And even if they mess up, they can just try it again. Well, let's jump ahead now to the fifth grade mm -hmm. apps, and some of the ones that you use are kind of funny for fractions. It's called Chicken Coop Fractions. Chicken Coop Fractions is part of the Common Core Standards. We have to have our kids understanding how fractions and decimals interact and how are they equivalent. So you have these two chickens here, and they have their fraction, and one of them is going to send an egg, and you have to move the coop, the little nest, along the coop bottom to get it in the and right spot. if you spot. miss like I did. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Because we really, one of our big things is getting kids to understand where they are within the world. Um, they have, this is one of the apps called um, iStates, and it's giving you the name of the state, and you have to quickly, as fast as you can, click on where that state is in the, within the U.S., and then they have a world version also, which is great, because we really want our kids to think globally. Yeah. And just, I think that's the biggest difference Just hold us. that up right now. We're out of time. I will make sure that we put all of the apps that these two teachers recommend from <laughs> Chapel Elementary. This is a world one. This is one is called Cute Math. And they're really educational. And thank you so much for being oh, here and thank sharing you. Thank this, you. Uh, you know, technology with us. We Ooh, really appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Again, go online, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. And as soon as I get a chance, all those apps will be there for you. <laughs> Some of them are also available on Android. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.